it looks like I got some people in their feelings on a previous video. It's a video where I talked about the writer's strike. I used an article from the New York Times simply by what that writer said to show their arrogance, their overprivilege, and how outlandish 98% of their demands slash requests are. And because of that logical conclusion, I got some people all in their feelings. But you know what? They going to be all right because I'm not going to change my opinion on this, especially since as I was prepping to do this, I came across an article. It seems that comedian Sarah Silverman kind of backs up my point on the bullshit purpose of the Hollywood Union. BuzzFeed reads headline, it's scabbing. Sarah Silverman spoke out against actors who are still working during the sag after strike. <laughs> it's as if God himself said, hey, Tuck, you know those people that were just smart mouthing you, claiming that you were ignorant and blah, blah, blah? Yeah, put this up. And who am I to say no to God? Thank you, God. She says, quoting, and I am referring to Sarah Silverman, movie stars are making movies because they're independent movies and SAG is allowing it because if they do sell it to streaming it has to be because streaming is abiding by all the things we're asking for under what SAG AFTRA terms as an interim agreement actors are able to work on certain productions in which producers have secured the agreements without being in violation of the strike order that is a fancy way of saying that those big name actors, the ones that really aren't going to be affected by the SAG strike, they can still go work as long as it's with independent studios, which can then turn around and sell it to major studios. You see what I said about what is the f purpose of a union in this particular industry? You see, the people that commented and got all huffy puffy missed the entire point. They are still simping for a union that actually holds them back. Y'all low tier writers, y'all low tier actors, they're telling y'all, you gotta stay strong, you gotta support the union. Oh, but them big dogs, that 1%, they can go do what the f they wanna do. You see, I avoided this in the previous video i didn't want to go all in on unions like that because as i've said there are certain unions i believe are absolutely essential that actually save lives and give great benefits and fair treatment to those that are in them but you got fluff piece shit like this fluffy ass industries like this that demand a union come on man what are we talking about little guy little girl small timers the people that were in my comments this is what y'all are protecting. They're telling y'all don't write, don't act while they're off doing whatever they choose and still making money. They genuinely don't care about y'all, but they know that it's more of the low earners to mid earners. So they got to keep y'all pacified because y'all have the greater numbers. So it would look bad if the only people you saw out there striking asking for more money would be Brad Pitt, Angelina Jolie, uh, Charlize Theron, those people. If those were the only ones y'all saw out there striking, it wouldn't have the impact of the thousands of bit players and cameo workers and what do they call them? Oh yeah, extras. Any experience? Yes, I played Panicky Idiot number two in the Poseidon Adventure. Sorry, we're looking for more of a duh duh idiot. But, no, mm, I see. See, they need y'all to, to stay out there on the line to drive home the point. They need the small, unnamed writers to drive home the point. But they really, really don't care. Let me give you another example here. Arguably, one of the greatest basketball players of all time, Michael Jeffrey Jordan. Do you know why you could never play him in video games? Why his face and name and likeness was never in a video game? Because at his peak, he got out of the NBA Players Association. Even he knew, I'm going to set my own terms. I'm not going to let 
you said my terms because a hundred Dickie Simpkins, look him up, want him get more money. Why am I going to miss out on the season, miss my money, because these low-level professional bitch riders want to get more money? If you're worth a damn, go set your own price. Go earn it. You let the market set itself. A union shouldn't have to set the market for you. And that is especially true for any level of entertainment. That's sports. That's Hollywood. So that was my entire point of what I now officially call the butt hurt video. It wasn't the fact of denigrating or devaluing all those up and coming hopeful screenwriters and actors. No, it's about pay your dues, not your union dues. Pay your dues. Work your way up. But y'all go ahead and simp for these bullshit ass Hollywood unions. Sit y'all ass on the sideline while even by Sarah Silverman standards, they're hypocrites. Oh, but wait, hold on, hold on. Let me stop right there. Let's go back to this one. Let me tell you how hypocritical and how much of a scam these unions are. The sag after union went after YouTubers. That's right. They told YouTubers, y'all need to stand by us. Again, deadline, sag after can bar non-member social media influencers from guild admission if they promote studios during the strike. So people that have nothing to do with them. And if y'all promote a studio or a movie, they're going to tell y'all, well, if you try to apply to sag after, you know, you will be denied. Number one, dear studio executive that may be watching this, I am Tucker. Please send me our promotions. I will happily plaster YouTube with that shit till they can't stand it. I am never joining a union. Now I'm back. They say if you're a social media influencer and want to take work promoting a film or TV series for a studio, but you're not a SAG AFTRA member, you might want to think twice. SAG AFTRA has issued rules during the strike for social media influencers, and even if you're not a member of the guild but one day want to join, you'll be barred from doing so if you take on promotional work for the studios. Yet they'll go let their big name actors go work for independent movies and, and keep filming. Do you see the f scam? Do you see it? I. <sighs> there it is. And I hate to tell you this, writers, but guess what? Those actors have writers over there writing their sh too. Hollywood doesn't care about y'all little people. You're in no position to lecture the public about anything. You know nothing about the real world. Like I said, a union, a good union looks out for everybody. That's coal miners union, oil field worker unions, firemen, you know, shit where you put your life on the line. But entertainment, bruh, that's just a scam to gain more power, protect those in upper echelon positions, and hold back those on the lower levels. So to all my naysayers from the butthurt video, wake the fuck up, man. Please. Wake up. You can catch the rest of that conversation on our Free Mind Thinkers podcast, which you can listen to wherever you listen to any of your favorite podcasts. We are on Amazon Music, Google Podcasts, iHeartRadio, and Pandora. So give us a listen there.